Okay, in a previous video, I talked about the new authentication method used in the API of Microsoft Translator. Several tools already supported that method, for instance, MemSource, SDL Trader Studio, and Cafetron Espresso 2012. Now, WordFast Classic also supports this new method, and I will show you how to use it. <laughs> So in order to use the new authentication method in Microsoft Translator, you need to be using WordFast Classic 6.03Q, second edition or newer. So here I'm using 6.03Q. So I go to translation memory, MT, and in MT I have the usual MT services, but for the second one, Microsoft there are now two fields that I have to fill. The first one is the client ID. And by the way, the client ID does not have to be uh, the Microsoft customer ID as I claimed in my video. It can be the customer ID from Microsoft, but it can be anything you want. For instance, here I'm using my name with ID at the end. The main thing is that it has to be unique. So thanks for Chris Wendt from Microsoft for pointing this out. And in the second field, you have the client secret that you have obtained from the Microsoft Azure marketplace. So now I'm set and I will use an article from the BBC once again that I will translate in WordFast. So here is the article and let's start to translate it. I'm now getting four proposals for the first segment, one from Google and then from Microsoft, from Sistran and from ProMT. Here, in fact, the best translation is from Sistran, so this is the one that I will use, except that at the end, I would prefer to use the suggestion from Google and I can recall the proposals by pressing escape like this. And if I want to enter ralentissement de la croissance, I can use the subsegment feature uh, from MT of WordFast. So I just type RA and I can accept the suggestion. Now I move to the next segment and again, I get uh, four suggestions and I will use in this case uh, the Microsoft one. I will make a few changes. Like this. And well, maybe like this and I will move to the next segment and here again I have uh, four suggestions and I can use the Microsoft one and make a few changes like this and um, like this. So that's how to use Microsoft Translator in the latest version of WordFast Classic 6.03Q, second edition. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe to my channel for more similar content. And see you in the next video.